Hey, we are two Star Wars nerds, and we are back with another Clone Wars animated series, chronological, arc by arc, watch through. Yeah, and if you hear our cat, he's crying on the other side of the door. He wants to go to bed. He does. It's a little late. <laughs> But today, we're talking about the Zero Trilogy. This is, I don't like Zero the Hut. Let's just open up with that. I don't like Zero the Hut as a character. I'm not really a fan either. Um, I like Jabba though. Yeah, Jabba's awesome. But um, this is a really weird one. So it's a three episode arc. And this is where you start to get into that kind of whole like weird chronology of things because 308 the first episode evil plans then 122 hostage crisis then, then back. back to 309 <laughs> the hunt for zero which is like whiplash 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 okay <laughs> it's, they just need to release like a chronological order to watch these you know maybe they have it on disney plus but i'm not sure but anyway let's do the 10,000 foot overview I feel like I change the foot every time I say that. I've said like 3,000, 1,000, 10,000. Anyway, um, <laughs> here we go. First one, Evil Plans. This is the one. This is a weird one. It, not a fan of it, but I'll just deep diving. So uh, Cad Bane and Toto are awesome. part of this. Toto's cool, but this is the one where so is Cad Bane. Uh, R2, D2, and C3PO are sent out to get some fruit or something, I think. And they get lured by Toto to go in for an oil bath, you know, just like a use. It's like a massage or something for a droid. Yeah, it's like you know, That's the rejuvenate longest. yourself. Feel like you came off, just came off the line, that kind of thing. And Toto's like a used car salesman and gets them in, and they like torture them, then they wipe their memory. So the episode really means nothing at the end. They're like, "Hey, you never knew about this because we wiped their memory." I hate that in <laughs> Star Wars. I anyway. Um, but basically, they want to figure out where exactly Zero the Hut is being held. Mm -hmm. Jabba hired uh, Cad Bane and Toto. Uh, well, not Toto, but he hired Cad Bane. <laughs> Toto just goes with it. Yeah, for the purpose of getting info on where Zero is so they can break him out because he has incriminating evidence on the Hut. So the Huts are kind of, you know, turning against each other here. Um, then you go all the way back to season one. And this is the actual, like, breaking out of the prison. This is um, the one where Cad Bane breaks Zero out. This is the one where Anakin and Padme are all like, ooh. And, what was that? Yeah, romantic. And then Padme ends up with Anakin's lightsaber, and there's just all sorts of stuff, you know. And Cad Bane actually bests Anakin. Gets away. You know, pretty crazy stuff. And then you go all the way back to season three. Just flip flop flip flop and <laughs> this is the one where um quinlan voss and obi-wan are sent to find zero because he's gone back to now hutta and you have stuff with like the hut oligarchs and zero's mom it's really weird it's like they're all like louisiana swamp slugs it's weird um but there's a lot of cool like little things in this that episode in particular i think that's kind of what holds us all together um but let's just go back just kind of talk about some things i know i'm gonna land on that last episode because there's cool stuff mm -hmm. but overall there's a lot going on in this big right. big story right um but what do you think i really i get what you're saying about the first episode with the droids but i think it's a cute episode because i i mean i love r2 and c3po but at the end of it i am like wait why I get, it could have been, I, I don't have a problem with R2 and C-3PO, but I feel like it could have been more important, I guess, to the story. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, but I think it's also cool. Um, it's a good episode for kids. You know, they say it's for kids. So they're, yeah. they're highlight, you know, they're, you know, then there's like a lot of action and death and stuff like this evil plans is a legit kids episode. So yeah. I like that. And I, like, I, I love the droids, so I'm fine with it. It is a kid's episode, but they do torture the droids. That's true. <laughs> they electrocute them. But yeah, I get no, that's sad. And like, I get sad. Actually. But you're right. No, it is a. It, even the music 
mm-hmm. it's like comical and it's it's just it doesn't feel like traditional Star Wars. And what I think is so funny about it is Anakin's just so annoyed with them. He's like, where are this you know where are the droids? And then they come back and they have no idea what's going on. He's just like upset. And Padme's like, I don't really care. I got what I needed in time. Let's just move on. But Anakin's just like not happy. <laughs> yeah. But so I don't hate that episode. I think it's funny. Um, out of the three, I like Hostage Crisis, the second one, the most. Mm, interesting. Um, I like, I, I don't know, I just like the, the story of that one. Um, and I like uh, how Padme has Anakin's lightsaber, so he has to get creative. Mm-hmm. And he can't rely on his saber. Then he, it, For the first time, it shows you, like, Anakin's obviously very strong, but I think he relies a lot on his lightsaber. And so it's showing you, I guess, his weak his weaknesses or areas of improvement, depending on how you want to look at that. Um, well, and and what's cool about that is you get to yeah you get to see him tactical. Yeah. You know, and yeah, there's there's just really cool stuff, and that's a, even before you go on. I think it's right. Yeah, crisis, hostage crisis. I think objectively is the best Mm -hmm. because but then they introduce somebody like zero and they're like now we got to go back and explain who this guy is right but yeah so i really like that and i like just the the tension um because it's like obviously i know anakin's gonna save everyone everything's gonna be okay but like how's he gonna do without his lightsaber so just seeing Mm -hmm. that story seeing that play out um honestly the scene where the pirates i believe are like chasing him in like different rooms um in the in the building uh it it reminded me of like scooby-doo like old scooby-doo episodes how like you go in one door and then they come out the other so that that made me laugh um because i loved scooby-doo but so i got a really scooby-doo vibe there so i I was for that i liked that um and then i like how uh you know anakin finally gets in and he thinks they think they have cadbane thinks that he has him and he's essentially won, but then he gets his lightsaber and it's like game over. And then, you know, he's able to save everyone in the nick of time with the cool circle move of his lightsaber. So I really like that one. Um, I don't have much to say on Hunt for Zero. I mean, it is what it is. I think it's, I don't know how to say the name. Sno- now, how to? No, what? Snoo, Snoo- Oh, Snoodles. 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 I think it's cool that they kind of gave her a backstory mm-hmm. which is pretty cool um definitely look at her differently <laughs> now in return of the jedi don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but um I'm gonna spin your chair here okay <laughs> but yeah overall i like i like all three but my favorite is hostage crisis nice yeah you know i th- i think i've shared my thoughts well enough on evil plans the first one there it's okay and not, maybe not even okay. But with Hostage Crisis, I think the only thing that I found interesting is it. I think that is a Cad Bane episode. Mm-hmm. I think it was supposed to be like intrigue about Zero the Hut and maybe Anakin and Padme, but I feel like Cad Bane shines. I feel like Cad Bane, that's a good Cad Bane episode. Yeah. Because he bests not only Anakin, he also bests Palpatine. Mm-hmm. And he like does something that Palpatine didn't see. So I'm like, this dude's bad, right? And like, Toto's awesome. Yeah, Toto's, Toto's awesome. Um, <laughs> but Hunt for Zero, that's one where I, when I'm thinking about it objectively, I'm like, I don't know that it's like that strong of a story. There's a, I they're thought trying, you were saying that was your favorite. So it is, but I, I don't think they, I don't think it's like a 10 out of 10. They knocked it out of the park. I, I'm like, good job trying a bunch of stuff. They mm-hmm. tried a lot in that episode. There's just some things that didn't really work for me, but I'm like, that's pretty cool. I mean, the Quinlan Voss first, that's really cool. That Quinlan Voss is in. You get to see now Hutta. That's really cool. You know, you get to see like more of the huts and you get to see more of the crime empire. So it's like, it's not just Jabba the Hutt. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is kind of like, definitely like a fanboy like of return of the jedi kind of episode like Mm -hmm. it's like i really love return of the jedi so i'm putting all these elements that point to it right that's kind of what i feel um don't like zero's mom super weird and they do this thing i found in the clone wars with certain villains they like add like a sub base sub 
who invited you? To their voice, so it's the same vocal track, but they like drop mm -hmm. it like four octaves, so you get this weird. You just get this really weird sound. Reverb thing. Yeah, it, it, it's not bad, but it's it's just overused a little bit. But Zero's mom is just super weird, like massive. I don't really understand why. And then they're all like Southern Bell swamp slugs. Like they all have a Southern accent on the Alhoda and they all talk weird. Um, but anyway, what I really wish, this would be so cool. I'm, I wonder if this is a, like a book or like fan fiction. There's the hollow diary of all the Hutt's dealings mm. that Snoodles gets back because mm -hmm. she was hired and like Zero took advantage of her and so she does the same thing. Like that would be crazy to read like all, like literally everything the Hutt's have ever done. Like to have that as a book or a show or yeah, something. Like ooh, that'd be pretty cool. But then Snoodles, that's an interesting one because, and obviously, spoiler alert, Zero the Hut dies. Good riddance, you know, dying one arc. So annoying though. Um, but Snoodles is really interesting because it's like, okay, you see Snoodles in the Max Rebo band, but then it's like, did we really need this kind of like, even the singers and the dancers are like killers? I don't know, but I'm like, hey, you tried something. Well, she got rid of Zero, so you should love her. True, true. But so that that for me is like, I, I think Hostage Crisis is the best, but I like what they tried in Hunt for Zero. Typically, I'm not one to like when people try a bunch of things like that. But I, I think I'm like, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know, you took a bunch of, you took a lot of small elements in Return of the Jedi and you tried to build like a backstory to them. Mm -hmm. um, they're not like foolproof and they're not like the best, but they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I enjoy them. Except for Zero. Well, he's can't, not from Return of the Jedi. Can't say that enough. I don't like Zero the Hut. Um, yeah, I think I... Mm, I was going to say, I don't know who I like less. Martez Sisters or Zero the Hut. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're both terrible. Um, but anyway... With that, let us know your comments about this. This is a really... Are we going to rate it? Yeah, we probably should. I just kind of moved on. Um, yeah, so <laughs> what's your rating? A five. Wow. Man. I, I'll, I'll give it a six. Trying to one-up me? Yes. <laughs> I'll give you a six, though. Not you. I'll give the, the arc a six. <laughs> I hope I'm higher than a six. Because <laughs> of Cad Bane... In hostage crisis and because of some of the stuff they did in hunt for zero and that's being generous I'm in a good mood so <laughs> that's being generous I just really only liked hostage crisis yeah that's fair but let us know what you think about this is this I want I'm very curious to see what people think if they like this you know especially TCW fanboys you know do you guys like this episode or this series of episodes or are you like eh? you know I'm very curious but with that, we are two Star Wars nerds. If you're not in the Discord already, follow the link in the description. Hop in, and may the Force be with you always. always.